The AFL video game series is a series of Australian rules football video games based on the AFL. Released originally by Beam Software, it has since been developed by several other game developers. Topic: <laughs> Games in the series. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Aussie Rules Footy. Developer: Beam Software. Publisher: Mattel. Released for NES. Release date: 1991. It was the first AFL video game. The game involves playing a game of Australian rules football from a third-person perspective, with the ability to perform the basic actions of a typical player of the sport. The game can be played by one person or by two players against each other. There is also a kick-to-kick -kick mode, and a season mode where one to six players can play multiple games in a season finishing with a grand final. It was developed by Beam Software, and was published by Mattel. <laughs> <laughs> AFL Finals Fever Developer, Blue Tongue Entertainment Publisher, Catability Released for, Microsoft Windows Release date, 1996 It was released for Windows PC only on 9 June 1996. You could play as one of the 16 clubs of the 1996 AFL season. It was also the last video game in the series to feature the Fitzroy Lions and the Brisbane Bears as playable teams before they were merged. The game was also the first game to be developed by Blue Tongue Entertainment and was published by Catability. Topic. AFL 98 Developer, Electronic Arts Publisher, EA Sports Released for, Microsoft Windows Release date, 1997 It was released in 1997 for Microsoft Windows. It was based on the 1997 season. Sixteen teams were available in the game and it was the first in the series to feature Brisbane Lions and Port Adelaide. It is also the first game in the series to have commentary, which was provided by Bruce McAvaney. The game was developed and published by EA Sports. Topic <laughs> AFL 99. Developer: Electronic Arts. Publisher: EA Sports. Released for PlayStation, Microsoft Windows. Release date, 1998 It was released in 1998 for the PlayStation and Microsoft Windows. It was based on the 1998 season and you could play as any of the 16 teams. The commentary is provided by Bruce McAvaney and Lee Matthews. The game was developed and published by EA Sports. The game's music was composed by Jeff Van Dyke. Topic. Kevin Sheedy AFL Coach 2002 Developer, IR Gurus Publisher, Acclaim Sports Released for, Microsoft Windows Release date, 2001 It was the first AFL video game to be developed by IR Gurus. The game was released as a PC-only game. In the game you assume the role of an AFL coach, you tell your players commands such as the type of play you want them to play attacking, defensive, normal, and when to interchange. It sold well for a then IR Guru's game but not too well on the market. Topic. AFL Live 2003 Developer, IR Guru's Publisher, Acclaim Sports Released for, Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2, Xbox Release date, 2002 It was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2 and Xbox. The game is based on the 2002 AFL season with team rosters. It was first released on 5 September 2002 in Australia. It was developed by IR Gurus and published by Acclaim Entertainment. It is also the first game in the series to feature a live-action intro of AFL games in the 2003 season. The game was only released in Australia. Topic. AFL Live 2004 
Developer, IR Gurus Publisher, Acclaim Entertainment Released for, Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2, Xbox Release date, 2003 It was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2 and Xbox on 28 August 2003. The game is based on the 2003 AFL season with team rosters based on that year. AFL Live 2003 includes all 16 official AFL teams and 8 stadiums which were, MCG, Telstra Dome, Optus Oval, Cardinia Park, Amy Stadium, Subiaco Oval, GABA, SCG. It also included all 22 home and away matches and the final series. The game was published by Acclaim with the song Lost Control by Grinspoon as the intro song. It was developed by IR Gurus and published by Acclaim Entertainment. Topic: <laughs> AFL Live Premiership Edition. Developer: IR Gurus Publisher, Acclaim Entertainment, THQ Released for, Microsoft Windows, THQ, PlayStation 2, Xbox, Acclaim Release date, 2004 It was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2 and Xbox on 29 April 2004. The game is based on the 2004 AFL season with team rosters based on that year. It was developed by IR Gurus and was the final AFL game to be published by Acclaim Entertainment, before their bankruptcy on 1 September 2004. <laughs> <laughs> AFL Premiership 2005 Developer, IR Gurus Publisher, Sony Computer Entertainment, THQ Released for, Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2, Sony Computer Entertainment, Xbox, THQ Release date, 2005 It is based on the 2005 AFL season and was released only for the PlayStation 2. This is the next edition after AFL Premiership Edition. When a claim shut down its operations in Australia, Sony Computer Entertainment got publishing and distributing rights to the game. Because Sony Computer Entertainment had an exclusive period with the title, initially it was only launched on PlayStation 2. However, THQ released a Microsoft Windows and Xbox version of the game. It was released on of September 2005 and is only available in Australia. AFL Premiership 2006 Developer, IR Gurus Publisher, Sony Computer Entertainment Released for, PlayStation 2 Release date, 2006 It is the 10th game in the AFL game series. It is based on the 2006 AFL season and was released only for the PlayStation 2. The game is a follow-up to AFL Premiership 2005. The game, unlike its predecessor, was less criticized by game reviewers. Its main features included the addition of training mode, revamped career mode as well as more attention paid to gameplay, rather than graphics, with the whole gameplay system being started from scratch. It was developed by IR Gurus and was published by Sony Computer Entertainment. AFL Premiership 2007 Developer, IR Gurus Publisher, Sony Computer Entertainment Released for, PlayStation 2 Release date, 2007 It is a simulation game for the PlayStation 2 based on the AFL. The game marks the final AFL game to be developed by Australian games company IR Gurus and was published by Sony Computer Entertainment, IR Gurus' seventh collaboration in the series, and was released on 28 June 2007. The game includes all 16 teams, more than 600 AFL players with updated stats and all of the major stadium. Game modes in AFL Premiership 2007 are single match, season mode, career mode, mission mode and training mode. It was a follow-up to AFL Premiership 2006. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> AFL Challenge Developer, Wicked Witch Software Publisher, True Blue Entertainment, Sony Computer Entertainment Released for, PlayStation Portable 
Release date, 2009 It was released for the PlayStation Portable. The game was developed by Wicked Witch Software and co-published by True Blue Entertainment and Sony Computer Entertainment. It was released on 10 September 2009. The game is based on the 2009 AFL season and includes all 16 teams and players. Topic. AFL Live Developer, Big Ant Studios Publisher, True Blue Entertainment Released for, Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 Release date, 2011, 2012 It was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 based on the 2011 AFL season. It was developed by Big Ant Studios and released on 21 April 2011. The Game of the Year edition, an updated version of the game for the 2012 AFL season was released on 6 June 2012. <laughs> <laughs> AFL Live 2 Developer, Wicked Witch Software Publisher, True Blue Entertainment Released for, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, iOS, Android Release date, 2013, 2014, 2015 It was released for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 on 12 September 2013. The 2014 season pack was released on 30 June 2014 for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 on 9 July 2014. A mobile port was released on iOS on 28 May 2015 and Android on 26 September 2015. Topic. AFL Evolution Developer, Wicked Witch Software Publisher, True Blue Entertainment Released for, Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, Xbox One Release date, 2017, 2018 It was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. It was developed by Wicked Witch Software and was released on May 5, 2017 for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, with the Microsoft Windows version released on July 21, 2017 via Steam. The 2018 season pack was later released on May 3, 2018. Other titles AFL Mascot Manorit was released for the Nintendo DS on 2 July 2009. The games focus more on the mythology of the league's mascots than on the sport itself. The central component of the game is the adventure the player's mascot will experience in the themed worlds. As such, it is aimed at the younger fans of AFL. AFL Eyes an AFL simulation video game based on the 2011 AFL season for the Wii, developed by Wicked Witch Software. It was released on 19 May 2011. AFL, Gold Edition is an iOS AFL simulation video game based on the 2011 AFL season, released on 14 December 2011. The 2012 AFL season update was released on 4 June 2012. It was developed by Wicked Witch Software and had similar gameplay to AFL on the Wii. <laughs> 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 